Hello everyone. In the last uh, part of the cytograph studies, we discussed about uh, if, uh, your um, effective rainfall heatograph and base flow separation techniques. We took a numerical problem on base flow separation. So uh, let us discuss a problem uh, on a rainfall heatograph. Okay. So we have a problem here. A storm over a cash mint area of 5 km square had a duration of 14 hours. The mass curve of the rainfall of the storm is given as follows. So the time from the start of the storm and this is your accumulated rainfall. So we have uh, a storm of 14 hours which is divided into 2 2 hours interval and we have accumulated rainfall for every 2 hour duration. Okay. So we have 0, 0 0.6, 2.8, 5.2, 6.6, 7.5, 9.2, and 9.6. So if the phi index for the cashment is 0 0.4 centimeter per hour, determine the effective rainfall heatograph and volume of the direct rain runoff from the cashment due to the storm. Okay. So we need to calculate your uh, effective rainfall heatograph and your volume direct volume of your direct runoff from the cashment due to the storm. Okay, so what is given? Given area is given, area of the catchment, it is 5 square kilometers. So 5 into 10 is about 6 meters square. So duration is 14 hours and 5 index 0.4 centimeter per hour. Okay, so let us uh, make uh, a tab table here for the problem. So we have a table uh, consisting of 7 columns. Okay. So in the first column, we'll write the time from the start of the storm. And in this column number two, we'll write the time interval that is delta T. Okay. And uh, then accumulated rainfall in the time. Okay. So in any time interval T. So what is the accumulated rainfall and uh, depth of the rainfall in delta T. Okay. And then phi delta T that is phi index multiplied by time and then effective rainfall in centimeters then intensity of rainfall uh, effective okay the intensity of effective rainfall centimeter per hour that is column number seven okay so in the given problem so time for the start of the storm is given as zero then we have uh, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen okay so this is the 14 hours duration storm okay so after that, uh, we'll uh, time interval in column number two. We'll write the time interval. This is uh, the time interval is of two two hours. So we'll write here the time interval that is delta t. Now accumulated rainfall in the time interval, okay, which is given. So the accumulated rainfall in the time interval is given as 0 0.6, 2.8, 5.2, 6.6, 7.5, 9.2, 9.2, 9.2, 9.2, 9.2, This data is given in the tabular form in the numerical. Now, uh, in the next column, column number four, we'll calculate the depth of the rainfall, okay, in delta t. So, in this delta time t time interval, we'll calculate the depth of the rainfall, okay. So, in the first, it will be zero, and second, it will be 0 0.6, okay. So, it will be equal to this value, and in the third value, it will be the rainfall depth, it will be equal to first value minus previous value so 2.8 minus 0 0.6 equal to 2.2 then after that 5.2 minus 2.8 2.4 then we'll calculate the value in the similar manner 1.5 0 0.8 1.7 0 0.4 okay after that we'll calculate phi into delta t what is phi phi is the phi index which is given to us so it is your 4.0.4 .4 centimeter per hour we'll multiply it by delta t okay column number two so we'll calculate here 0.8 the value will come out to be constant it will be constant okay so 0.8 so after that we'll calculate uh, effective rainfall in centimeter so effective rainfall how will it come so first value 0.8 okay and then uh, so let me tell you here first so to calculate effective rainfall for any time interval delta t it is given by your actual depth of the rainfall minus phi into delta t okay so your actual uh, uh, depth of rainfall is uh, given here as this okay 
in column number four and your effective uh, your phi delta t we have calculated the value here in column number five okay so uh, now uh, we'll calculate the effective rainfall but but if uh, your effective rainfall is equal to zero okay so if the value is larger so you can see here so 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.8 so the value is much more larger this value so the effective rainfall will be zero after that we have 2.2 minus 0 0.8 that will be 1.4 2.4 minus 0 0.8 1.6 1.5 minus 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 1.7 minus 0 0.8 0 0.9 0 0.4 minus 0 0.8 uh, 0. Uh, it's the value I have written here is 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 so this value is less so uh, this value is less so we'll write here 0 okay so now the intensity of rainfall effective will calculate the intensity how will we calculate the intensity of rainfall here so we have a 1.4 you can see here so we have uh, the value which is effective rainfall value for this okay so you can see here the value is given as 1.4 so this value is for two hours hour strong so two hour duration this is for two hour duration okay so if we want to calculate intensity so intensity is given as centimeter per hour so we'll calculate for one hour it will come out to be 1.4 divided by 2 it will be 0 0.7 centimeter per hour so we'll calculate the value for one hour okay so here uh, the values we have written 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.35 0 0 0.45 and 0 okay so this is uh, this uh, table we need to draw when we uh, want to calculate the effective rainfall for any given storm okay so let us uh, uh, draw a heatograph for this okay so heatograph is a plot of your rainfall intensity versus time we take time on x-axis and uh, intensity of rainfall on y-axis okay so we can plot uh, uh, the in the given duration what is the rainfall uh, intensity okay so here uh, for this problem uh, we have uh, plotted uh, the heatograph for the rainfall like this now so this is the effective rainfall heatograph that we have uh, drawn for the given uh, rainfall so you can uh, see here uh, we have uh, divided we have drawn the your time interval for the start of the storm in the x-axis and rainfall intensity in the y-axis so basically it is a graph uh, between your rainfall intensity versus time okay so we'll write here the durations and uh, here we'll write the uh, your in intensity of rainfall okay so now the in e erh of this storm okay, we can plot so for your zero uh, you're for 2 0 to 2 okay so we are not getting or uh, 2 to 4 we are not getting so we are getting the value for 4 to 6 hours 0. 0.7 then 6, 6 to 8 0. 0.8 and then from 8 to 10 0. 0.35 then 10 to 12 no intensity then 12 to 14 0. 0.45 okay and after that 0 to 16 no intensity okay so we have uh, this curve okay so this is your effective rainfall heatograph of the storm okay so effective rainfall heatograph we have um, just uh, excluded the uh, from here the all the losses okay so now the total effective rainfall is uh, equal to your direct runoff due to the storm so this total effective rainfall will be due to the direct runoff okay so the it will be equal to the area of this er curve okay so we need to calculate the area of this curve to calculate the total effective rainfall okay so we'll calculate the area so you can see here area can be calculated as 
so i have calculated the value here 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.45 multiplied by 2 okay we'll calculate the area of all these rectangles that are forming and we'll add them okay so we are getting here 4.6 centimeter so this is the value of your total effective rainfall now volume of the direct runoff we can calculate so the volume of direct rain not runoff will come out to be so effective rainfall that is 4.6 we convert it into meters divided by 1000 multiply by the area okay so area multiply by effective uh, rainfall depth it will be it will give you the volume of direct runoff okay so it is coming out to be 23000 meter cube okay so this is how we calculate the or uh, we draw the effective rainfall high heatograph for any given storm okay so i hope uh, you are now clear with this two topics that is how to draw erh and how to separate the base flow for the given storm okay so in the next unit we'll cover the unit hydrograph okay thank you so much